In this step, we'll take a look at how you go about importing assets into Unreal Engine. And in this case, we're going to be importing the textures that we'll need to improve the look of our grass. So what we'll do, first of all, I'll show you. If um, you are supporting me through Patreon, you've got access to this. Here we go. So in the Unreal Engine 4 for beginners shared folder, there's the Unreal Engine project folder here. There's the height map that we used a little while ago. And there's also this textures folder as well. Now within here, it's split into four other folders. And the ones that we're using in this video today are the terrain ones. So I'll just double click on this and you need to download these images and just save them somewhere on your computer that you can find them. So in my case, uh, the Google Drive folder is fine for me. I know where they are. And we're not going to be using all of them yet. We're just going to be using this Grass D, Grass N and Grass R. Um, and that naming convention, in case you're wondering, the D denotes that it's a diffuse texture, uh, the N means it's a normal map, and R is the roughness map. So we'll be looking at using those, certainly all of these in this folder in future videos, but for now it's just the grass ones that you'll need. So you either need to download them from my shared drive if you are a patron, or you're going to need to find your own grass diffuse and normal maps so that you can move forward. So making sure that you've got those saved somewhere. What we're going to do is move to the textures folder that we created earlier. So I'm going to go back into my content folder and then I'll see here, there's my textures folder. And currently there's nothing in it, so let's import. So I'm going to click on the import button up here. There we go. And you can see I've already been um, working through these steps. I've been writing it down. So it takes me straight to that folder. But if not, I'd go to my textures folder, double click on terrain. And I'm actually going to just import all of these, like so, and click on, well, I'll press Ctrl and A there to select them all, by the way, uh, and then click on Open. And this is going to import all of these to that folder. You'll also notice at the end, down here, um, that if they've got an underscore N, Unreal will tell you that it's imported them as a normal map. So it's just saying, yes, I've recognised that this is a normal map, and I've imported it with the correct settings. So we'll just let this finish. Okay, so they're all imported and they've appeared in my textures folder. You can see that they've all got this little star here, which means that they've not been saved yet. Um, so it is a good idea to save them. So I'm just going to click on save while they're all selected. And that will get rid of that little asterisk that's on there. Um, and then they'll be ready to use. So now that we've got these textures imported, in the next step, we'll be ready to start to bring these textures into the landscape material. So I'll see you in the next step for that. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your learning further, I recommend an introduction to Unreal Engine 4 by Andrew Sanders and Unreal Engine 4 Game Development Essentials by Satish PV. Check them out using the links in the video description below. Special thanks to my awesome patrons whose names are displayed on screen for supporting this video. If you'd also like to support my channel, then go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.